After months of heated political debate and negotiations, Congress has finally passed a massive $1.90 trillion COVID-19 relief package called the American Rescue Plan Act. As part of this sweeping legislation, millions of Americans will receive a direct payment of $1,400 to help cushion the economic blow of the pandemic. For recipients of Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, this is a huge development. The previous two rounds of stimulus checks in 2020 provided much-needed financial aid, but this third round has been eagerly anticipated as the country struggles to recover. The passage of the $1,400 checks has been confirmed, with direct deposits already hitting many Americans' bank accounts starting on March 17, 2021. This quick turnaround is thanks to the IRS having access to most people's direct deposit information from previous stimulus payments. Here are the key details about the latest round of stimulus checks for Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients. The full $1,400 payment will go to individuals making up to $75,000 a year and married couples filing jointly earning up to $150,000. The payments start phasing out for individuals making more than $75,000 and couples over $150,000. Unlike the previous two rounds, this third payment also includes checks for all dependents regardless of age. So families with children and adult dependents like college students or elderly parents will receive more aid. For Social Security retirement, survivors, and disability recipients, the payments will be sent the same way as regular benefit checks either by direct deposit, direct express debit card, or paper check. The IRS will use the most recent tax return information on file to determine eligibility. SSI and SSDI beneficiaries should also receive their payments automatically via their usual payment method, direct deposit, direct express card, or paper check. The Social Security Administration was directed to provide payment data to the IRS for this purpose. Direct deposit payments started hitting bank accounts as early as March 17 th for those eligible recipients who provided bank account information on their 2019 or 2020 tax returns. Paper checks and debit cards will take longer to arrive, likely several weeks. But the IRS and Treasury Department are aiming to distribute all payments as rapidly as possible. Social Security retirement and disability beneficiaries who did not file a 2019 or 2020 tax return should receive their payments automatically via their existing payment method. Those who did not receive the first two stimulus payments due to non-filing of tax returns should receive catch-up payments for those missed payments as well. The IRS also has an online tool at irs.gov EIP that allows you to check the status of your payment. Called the Get My Payment tool, it provides the status of when your payment was issued and whether it was sent via direct deposit or mail. The passage of this latest round of stimulus checks is a huge development that will benefit tens of millions of struggling Americans. Beyond Social Security and disability recipients, the checks will go out to anyone making below the income thresholds, including the unemployed, gig workers, and those who didn't file taxes in 2019 or 2020. For Social Security recipients and the disabled, getting this influx of cash comes as a major relief. While Social Security and disability benefits are adjusted for inflation every year through a cost-of-living increase, the pandemic has exacted an extreme toll on many recipients through higher costs for groceries, medicine, and other essentials. The stimulus checks are intended to help cover those extra expenses and ease the financial strain. While $1,400 may not go far for many people, it has the potential to truly make a difference for those subsisting on fixed incomes from Social Security and disability benefits. Beyond the direct payments, the broader $1.9 trillion stimulus package also extends the weekly federal unemployment supplement of $300 through September and expands key tax credits like the Child Tax Credit and Earned Income Tax Credit. It also provides over $20 billion in rental and utility assistance and expands nutrition aid through measures like increased SNAP benefits. So while the $1,400 checks are garnering the most attention, the American Rescue Plan delivers substantial economic support through many different channels. As the vaccination rollout ramps up and the economy slowly reopens, the big question is whether more federal stimulus aid will be forthcoming. The Biden administration has indicated it considers this latest package a key first step in the recovery process. Many economists and policy experts feel additional targeted measures may be needed as the recovery gains traction. 
While the job market has shown signs of improvement, millions remain unemployed or underemployed. Going forward, any additional stimulus checks or other relief would have to balance the continuing need against the growing deficit and debt burden. For now, Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients should ensure they receive their entitled $1,400 payment during this distribution process. Monitoring your payment status and reaching out to the IRS if you encounter any issues will be critical. The stimulus funds can make a meaningful difference in affording essentials, paying down debt, building up modest savings, or whatever pressing financial priorities recipients may face. While not a cure-all for the economic damage inflicted by COVID-19, these emergency funds can provide some breathing room and economic stability in very challenging times. The government just announced massive updates that will put extra cash in millions of people's pockets. This is a game-changer, folks. Get ready, because your Social Security benefits and stimulus payments are about to go through the roof. They just released new rules that could supercharge your income. We're talking hundreds of extra dollars per month hitting your bank accounts. This is financial freedom, retirement bliss, luxurious living at its finest. And the best part? You might already qualify without doing a thing. That's right, if you're getting Social Security or previous stimulus payments, you could be one of the lucky winners here. Subscribe right now and smash that like button so you don't miss a single detail on how to take advantage of these jaw-dropping updates. I'll break it all down for you shortly. This is life-changing stuff. End of exaggerated intro to hook viewers. Now let's get into the actual details of this important Social Security and stimulus news. The Social Security Administration sends out a tax form called the SSA 1099 each year in January to anyone who received benefits in the previous year. This form shows the total amount of Social Security income you received, so you can accurately report it on your tax return. And this matters for a few key reasons when it comes to any potential increases in Social Security payments or stimulus checks. First, if you are still working and earning income in addition to your Social Security benefits, the amount you receive could be subject to federal income taxes above certain thresholds. So knowing your total benefit amount is crucial for doing your taxes correctly. Additionally, the size of any future stimulus payments or boosts to Social Security checks will likely be based on your current benefit levels. So having an official record of what you received in the prior year puts you in the best position to potentially qualify for maximum increases down the road if new legislation is passed. If you are currently receiving Social Security retirement, disability, survivor, or other benefits, you would automatically qualify for any future increases or stimulus payments related to that income stream. The more you received in the previous year based on that SSA 1099 form, the larger any additional payments could be. For one-time federal stimulus checks, eligibility has historically been based on adjusted gross income thresholds from tax returns so again, knowing your total Social Security income from the SSA 1099 is important for accurately calculating your adjusted gross income and ensuring you meet all criteria. There could also be age requirements, such as all recipients over age 65 qualifying for boosted benefits. So the older you are, the more likely you may be to benefit from any new changes or payments. So in summary, that SSA 1099 tax form is critical for knowing where you stand with Social Security income, potential taxes owed, and eligibility for any stimulus or increased payment programs. Hold on to it tightly and make sure you report the right information to the IRS when doing your taxes. So, what are you waiting for? This is the news you've been waiting for. It's time to take action and claim your share of these life-changing benefits. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Remember, the earlier you apply, the sooner you could see that extra cash in your bank account. Now, I want to ask you a favor. If you found this information valuable and exciting, do me a solid and like this video. And if you really enjoyed it, why not share it with your friends and family? Let them in on this incredible news so they too can take advantage of these benefits. You placed a delivery order with Chick-fil-A between March 1, 2020 and December 31, 2020. It doesn't matter if you ordered through DoorDash, Uber Eats, or another third-party delivery app. The order was placed for pickup or delivery within a 10-mile radius of a Chick-fil-A location. You pay more for your delivery order than the listed in-store or takeout menu price. 
There's no need for purchase receipts. Chick fil A will check their own sales data to verify eligibility. If you meet these basic criteria, you can expect to receive a $29.25 check or gift card automatically through the mail or email once the settlement is finalized. You won't need to submit any claim forms. Chick fil A is required to notify eligible customers and distribute the settlement funds within 90 days of court approval. I know many of my subscribers used Chick fil A delivery frequently last year, especially when we were all stuck at home for months during lockdowns. So make sure to check your purchase history and keep an eye out for notifications about this settlement. $29.25 may not seem like a huge amount, but every bit helps, especially with how crazy inflation has been lately. This settlement is also a good reminder to pay extra attention to the prices you're paying for delivery orders from all restaurants moving forward. Many places did temporarily inflate delivery menu prices to compensate for lost in-store revenue during COVID shutdowns. But with dining rooms now back open, make sure you aren't still overpaying for delivery. Switching gears a bit I wanted to provide some tips and best practices for maximizing your chances of receiving your Chick-fil-A settlement compensation if you are eligible.